Hey Simleys, it's Deligracy here with Let's Play The Sims 4 Dine Out Part 4 and Mr. Wu here is looking quite happy with himself. He's met a new lady, a lady on the scene, Stephanie, who he's had a little bit of feelings for. She came to look at his house in the last part because it's on the market and uh, they kind of, they hit it off a little bit. They got to know each other. She dreams of running a restaurant one day. She loves kids and she also has fantastic taste. So I was thinking maybe Mr. Wu... Uh, Maybe he might want to see her again and ask her about her ideas on how to improve his restaurants. Uh, but really deep down, he just wants to see her again. But you know what? It might not actually be so bad because these restaurants are struggling. I mean, look, look what is happening with Paul Aubrey. What is this? <laughs> what is this? going on there I really don't know but let's maybe invite her uh to come to this lot can we do that hmm or maybe we should travel together and go somewhere for a little bit of a meeting uh you know maybe she has a resume and she she said oh I am an interior decorator and I'm also into events and meal planning and catering so if you ever need any help with your restaurants let me know Oh my gosh, so cute. Mini hot dog suits. Ah! <laughs> I just love that. All right, Stephanie, we'll see you there. Where should we go? Should we take her to our awesome restaurants? Fast food. I mean, Mr. Weird just loves a burger, to be honest. This lot's not available. Oh, really? We can't go to ones that are... What? Really? Are you for cereal right now? Because I want to go to my own restaurant. Ah, here we go. We'll go to the good old drive through mm, Love that drive through Alrighty, Mr. Wu. Let's have a business meeting with Stephanie and figure out how we can improve these places. We also need to think about where we're going to move. I don't know. I'm just not into the split level house. I want a new house. <laughs> Mr. Wu does want a new one too. And actually, let's check up on how long these restaurants have been open for. I'm going to close the other ones. This will confirm we're losing like $600 a day, which isn't great. Uh, let's close Magnolia as well. And hey, hey girl. Whoa, whoa, she's fast. She is fast. Uh, let's just get to know her a little bit and they can maybe discuss interests. And hopefully they'll be able to dine together here. I'm hoping they'll dine together. I mean, they're, they're showing they're in the same group, so I think they can. So let's get a table and have a romantic meal with burgers and fries and coffee. Okay, they're still just chatting. Isn't Stephanie so pretty? She's beautiful. Oh, also, I wanted to ask you guys, someone said in the comments to actually... Uh, it might be a fun idea for me to download off the gallery some of your creations so then they can be in the town and then they can just rock up to the restaurants and it might be fun to see your character come in and be like, oh, that's my sim. So I was just thinking if you guys have some sim families uh, that I can place in the town, uh, use the hashtag Deligracy Dine Out. So hashtag Deligracy Dine Out and I'll put... A random selection in uh, so we can stop getting clown hair the only prerequisite is that there is to be no clown hair in your creations okay <laughs> okay I'm gonna arch you in a second hold your breath <gasps> oh my gosh my headphones just fell off I chewed so loudly pardon me it's getting cold in here so put on all your clothes. I am getting so cold. I want to put my jacket on. Here's your table. Enjoy your meal. Cool. Oh my gosh. This is the cutest couple ever. Aren't they a nice couple? I like these two. I like them. I like these two. Mr. Woo. Mm -hmm -hmm. Doodly do. Maybe we can just ask if she's single. <laughs> just be like, now, do you have a partner or... Oh, no? Okay, cool. Well, well, let's talk about business because that's what we're here for. Let's maybe talk about, uh, ask about Korea. What, what experience do you have, Stephanie, in restaurants and catering and menu design and whatnot? She's like, well, I've, I've always uh, loved people and food. So I decided to get into the catering business 
And that's why I'm here. And I just thought I'd be able to help you with your restaurants. I think you need a bit more sunlight in there. <laughs> He's like, well, we've got plenty of rubbish bins uh, and a drive through. Yeah, you do. Look how many rubbish bins there are actually. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we, we, Mr. Wu is correct. He has plenty of bins. She's like, yes. And you have plenty of money. So it's not going to be a struggle for us to actually start changing this restaurant. But I think what she would probably recommend is actually making the dishes a little bit nicer and also like making the actual restaurants a bit nicer. But changing up the menu could be good. Steering away from that, you know, fast food, nasty fast food. Uh, let's order at the table though. I mean, order for the table, at the table for the table. Ooh, message. Message marked urgent. Hey, hey, what's sizzling, everybody? North side, south side, east side, and west. Uh, I think Mr. Wu would get a burger, but Stephanie would probably be like, what's the healthiest thing you have on the menu? I'll just get a copy. <laughs> she's like, she's probably into health and well-being, and she's like, I ain't going near that stuff. If it was me, though, I'd get the pancakes for shizzle my nizzle. Uh, let's get whiff to be up. Someone in the last part asked, they're like, do people seriously still say my shizzle, my nizzle? I didn't even know that was like an old school thing. I thought it was my thing. Clearly, I'm not cool anymore, though. It's just sad. Oh, hey, Rylan Powers. She's like, we need to get the atmosphere happening, get some music, get rid of the drive through. We could have some TVs with sports on them. That could be interesting. I know your kids are into sport. It's like, yeah, they love gaming too. <sighs> oh, Mr. Wu. Yes, I feel like this is definitely a business conversation. I love this. This is fun. This is fun, you guys. Okay, so they're getting their food ready. Actually, yeah, I think what we'll do is we'll renovate this a little bit. Let's change the menu first. How about Mr. Wu says to Stephanie, look, how about what I'll do is I'll give you full, full control over the menu. You change up the menu as you like. We'll trial it. And then if that goes well, then we'll think about changing the entire look and feel of the place. And I'll put more money into it. But I just want to see how you go with the menu first. Let's start small and then work up big. <laughs> and now they're just talking about their love of sports and betting on frogs or something. Okay, moving on. Where's our food? You know you should be hurrying up. Ask to deliver a compliment to the chef. We should actually do that and watch them give the compliment because that might be a really cute interaction. I think this is our meal. I think it's on its way. Ew, clown hair. I'm going to get rid of all the clown hair sims. Uh, the McDonald's drive through has started to lose money. Well, don't worry, we'll be making money soon. Oh, back to the llamas. Oh, he thinks his meal is romantic. Oh, Mr. Wu, stop it. That's so cute. It looks like he's having a beer, doesn't it? A beer and a burger. Totally his style. <laughs> and uh, oh, this is, this is quite a cute little date. He's super tired, but I mean, he's like, I'm here with this beautiful woman. I don't need sleep right now. I'd rather be here than be asleep at home. All right, so... I guess if Stephanie's going to oversee the menu, let's make some changes and see if we can make a little bit more money. Okay, I just got really confused then, but I'm pretty sure we don't even own this one. I think this is like an extra one that we don't own. So we're gonna bail from this one. Apparently we have a fourth one, which I didn't even realize. But let's travel to, let's go to our most successful one because that's probably the one we want to try and save first. So Mr. Wu is gonna go ahead to, our Oasis Springs uh, fast food to McDonald's. And we'll go there. We'll make some changes to the menu that Stephanie has suggested. See how that goes. See if we're going to earn some more money. And if that goes well, then we'll actually start converting one of the restaurants into something a lot nicer. Oh, we don't need to pay at our own restaurants. <laughs> Seriously. Okay, so let's uh, let's edit the restaurant menu. So I think Stephanie's gonna say, you've got great chefs, why don't you make the food a little bit more difficult, you know? That, that could be a good start. So let's go with some, 
Maybe she wants to make it a little bit fancy. Maybe. Yeah, let's let's start making it fancy. So let's get rid of all of this. Uh, she'll probably say you'll make the most profit if you have more expensive drinks on the menu. Okay, let's listen to Stephanie. She knows. So let's go for a higher difficulty. Let's make this place unique. It's a place where people can go to get really good quality food uh, by the amazing chefs we have, but they may need to spend a little bit more, like $60 for a glass of wine. Holy duck wings. That's a lot. Okay, let's, let's just say we'll have a bit of a love potion too. Uh, and in terms of appetizers, Stephanie would definitely say, just get rid of all this. You can get that anywhere. And let's get some chia pino and savory bacon love petals <laughs> and spherized fruit gel in foam nest. Oh, that sounds so good. Um, we'll put, oh, that looks good too. Me likey. Okay. We'll just put more expensive things on the menu. And of course, probably the most important thing other than dessert is the main menu. Let's get rid of these pizzas and get some stuff that people will really like. Customers are going to love these space tacos with pearled egg core. Loves to thermidor jungle moss egg with lavender wisps. <laughs> I love the word wisps. Wisps. Whips. Wh wisps. Just me, or does that sound really therapeutic? Wisps. Uh, unfortunately, the free range six and pit breast didn't quite make the cut, so yeah. Oh, that's so cute. No, nah, they're not expensive enough. Okay, let's let's do that. This is gonna be very high class restaurante. Oh, but the spooky cookies look so cute. Okay, let's get rid of all of these. And, whoops. Get rid of the berry macarons, macaroons. I know they're, I know they're pronounced macaroons, not macarons. Unless some of you guys, oh yum, crystallized cocoa blocks. Chocolate souffle, pure per perfection code. <gasps> Yummy. Ooh, vanilla seashells and chocolate caviar. Vanilla seashells, what? These are very creative dragon's breath. Lemon meringue pie. <laughs> meringue pie. Meringu. Okay, and of course, of course, even though Stephanie didn't actually say she would change the attire, she's gonna do it anyway. Uh, we'll just put in on some basic clothes now, just make it that little bit nicer, but we can make this better uh, later on. And I think that host outfit's a little bit too much, so we'll just go with the that one. Excellent. And yeah, customers can still come in every day. Where... All right, let's, let's try this out. What's the time? 10 o'clock at night. Not really the best time to be open for business, but hey, it'll be all right. She'll be right. She'll be apples. She'll be sweet. Oh, look at the chefs and all their beautiful attire. Oh, he's so tired. I just feel like we need to wait this out for a little while. Can we sleep? Can we nap? <laughs> hey, let's just get him a bed because he can do whatever he likes. He owns this place. Let's get rid of this. We're gonna get rid of it all eventually. Uh, okay, so let's just put a bed in here. He'll of course have a nice luxurious bed. Uh, we'll get this like midnight, midnight duna cover. Can go sleep there just quickly and quietly. <laughs> That's pretty funny. There we go, Mr. Wu, sleep tight in his little cocoon area. All right, the chefs are looking great. They're actually wearing shoes. Good, that's a good start. They were barefooted the last time and let's let's wait for our customers to come. Oh, honey buns, you look so good today, Nyla. Actually, how good are our chefs? Please have full skill level. Ooh, one, two, three, four. Hmm. She's just below the skill level that she needs to be. So that's not ideal. You know what, Mr. Wu, we need to give her some more training. Uh, she needs to get some standard tra training for sure. Okay. And I feel like, do you need more training, miss? It's like, wow, all my stuff look really clean and good today. 
Uh, Stephanie probably said you just need to make sure everyone gets some really good, good training. <laughs> I love that Mr. Woo's in his nightgown. Okay, let's uh, manage these guys. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh my gosh, the clown hair is so... Ugh. It just... I can't. I can't. De Excuse me, are we going to have a domestic in here? Because Marcus Flex, you got big muscles. Do not yell at a lady. You look very intimidating. Okay. Okay, it's being nice to all of his staff. Moira. Moira is already killing it. Uh, we've already done Tanisha training. Okay, good. <laughs> I feel like Nyla was just looking at him like, what are you? Mr. Wu, you're embarrassing us. And oh, Lonnie, good old Lonnie, can get some extensive training because we want this to be the best restaurant ever. Uh, management, welcome, welcome. Oh gosh, oh good grief. She's just crying all the time. We'll see what happens. We'll see if we can make some dollar bills. So all of these people with hair like that automatically just cry all the time. All right. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Wu. This will be a great opportunity to refine my skills. I'll go after my shift. Excellent. Okay. So we've got a lot of four stars. Why are there no four stars over here? That's what I'm quite concerned about. Oh, good job. Good job, girl. Okay. I reckon we can go to sleep, catch a few winks quickly as more customers hopefully come in. How long have we been open for? Four hours and we've barely served any customers. Oh, <gasps> Minus seventy dollars, really? Whoa! Oh, Tanisha needs more training. Oh, that's a bit of an issue. Oh, I don't know. Ooh, the sparkly! <gasps> look at their meals! Don't they look amazing? Ah, oh, even the crazy clown hair lady looks happy. Drinking a love potion, drinking her sorrows away, happiness, five stars! Oh, that is so cool! Okay, all right, I, I reckon that uh, Ste Stephanie is hired. Uh-oh, what's this guy saying? Hmm, little on the pricey side. Yeah, well, oh, oh, oh their rating increased to four stars. This is fantastic. I know it's a little on the pricey side, but most people are happy. And plus, once we do up the place, make it look real fine, and the other chef has done really well with their cooking level, then we'll be reeling and raking it in. It's so exciting. Okay, I'm ready for more customers. I guess it is 2.30 in the morning. Oh, Mr. Wu, more customers to greet. Up you get, my lover. I mean, ill. no. Ew, not Mr. Wu. I take that back, you guys. Oh, he was thinking about the monies then. He's like, oh, yeah, earning all the fat stacks. Okay, these guys, can we check up on them? Check up on their table. We'll stay open for seven hours and see, like, how much the wages are stacking up against how much we're earning. Hopefully we're making money. Wow, we have a lot of perk points, too. Hmm, we should get some perk perks. What did you guys order? Ooh, honeycomb garden vegetable cups. <laughs> Yum. Oh, hello, friends. How are you? Hi, I'm Jeffrey Landgrab, who is always cheating on Nancy, but he's actually with her today, so that's good. Our place is going to be the hottest spot to take your affairs. Not really. That's awful. But it's kind of fun. So <laughs> we'll go with that. All right. So she's pretty happy about her service. Good one, Nancy. Good one. Uh, we'll need to check up on the table soon. Oh, we've been open for eight hours. So let's stop anyone new from coming in. We'll let everyone finish their meals. What's he saying? This meal definitely doesn't look too great. Mm. Sorry, that's just one of the chefs didn't do too well. Sozzles. Sozzles. Uh, I swear she's in the middle of training, okay? Cut the girl some slack. Let's check up on their table. Uh, by the way, land grabs, do you mind not taking too long? Because we kind of um, kind of want to close the shop. We don't want to overwork our workers. Just checking to make sure you are getting the service you need. Yes. 
Oh, oh my gosh. Ew, Mr. Wu, wash your hands or something. You stink, you big stench. Wow, that's a lot of dollars. That's a lot of dollars. We'll get him to use the toilet as well. Wait, did we just get another new customer? No, okay, good. What's this? Meal definitely doesn't look great. Ah, oh, the worst chef is doing all of our meals. I mean, Tanisha looks like she's doing a good job, but you know. How you going, Mr. Wu? Do Mr. Wu doing a poo? That's all right. He's only he's only a sim. That's normal. I was gonna say he's only human, but questionable. Uh, <laughs> I love this guy's walk the best oh dear are you guys leaving can you guys leave we've been open for a little a little while too long all oh, three stars oh, I hope oh no our rating has gone down <sighs> that's the only problem okay I'm ready for you guys to go now we've been I get worried that we've been open for too long and that our workers are going to get pretty angry you guys are clearly overstaying your stay. You're overstaying your welcome. Oh no. They're not liking the look of their meal. Oh my gosh, look at their meals. Are they meant to be that brown color? Is that like burnt steam coming off them? <laughs> oh gosh. That was made by that was made by Tanisha, right? Oh dear. That's all right, she'll get better, she'll get better. Oh gosh, can we give her more training? Not yet. Just gotta work on it, we gotta work on it. It'll be okay, Mr. Wu. <laughs> Mr. Wu, I believe in you. Okay, please get out, get out of my restaurant. Let's welcome you and say welcome, Bye bye Oh gosh, Tanisha, stop making the meals. I trust everything's okay, not really. <sighs> okay, let's leave. See you later, guys. Bye. Can we actually, can we fire Tanisha and get someone who's already skilled up? No one's really skilled up anyways. All right, all right, everyone. Good job, you've been open for 10 hours. How did we go? <gasps> Whoa, we made $2,200. Okay, Stephanie, you are hired. Hired girl. We're going to transform these places. Comment down below what kind of restaurant you think we should make. Uh, like aesthetically what we should make. And I know our chef number two isn't doing too well, but well, she'll get there. She'll get there. But this looks like we're doing pretty well. Anyways, guys, I'm going to leave this part right here. I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon or evening, wherever you are in the world. I'll speak to you soon.